an update on Sexy, the uh, Distichotos Sex Faciatus. Ever since he tried to kill Lucy, Distichotos Lusoso in 4500 gallon, he's been living in uh, timeout in this 240 gallon tank. He loves his pellets. He takes giant NLS pellets, like a small handful every night. He doesn't care about the fish I give gulpers, never goes for that. He never goes for these snails either, I wish he ate them. There's a lot of them. Other than that, he has been doing well. Looks to be just shy of two feet. Maybe 20, 22 inches. I can actually measure him just. Take fish out, they're usually about 10%, 10% longer or bigger. So he's he's about 22 inches if he was taken out of the water and measured. I don't know if you can make out, he's got some teeth on his parrot like parrot beak like mouth which makes this fish pretty nasty because they have a nasty bite even though they have a tiny mouth and it's a caressing, it's an aggressive fish it's got a beautiful tail it doesn't have any more stripes these fish when they're sold young they're awfully cute because they have six stripes or seven stripes vertical stripes on their body and then uh, when they grow bigger unfortunately they disappear both for the sex fasciatum and for the lusoso their tail feels funny it's almost like leathery as if covered in tiny tiny scales or, or leather same for their adipose fin. So not much in terms of the look. In terms of the looks, some uh, reflection in the scales. Red tail, reddish edge of the tail, reddish edge of the anal fin, and the. pelvic fins, a little bit of red in the dorsal also on the edge. He lives with uh, seven gulpers, seven gulper catfish. He's safe, he's way too big for them to try to swallow. And a couple of pleco. Usually doesn't like me too much, so he keeps behind those uh, cinder, uh, those uh, landscaping blocks, and that's where he takes his pilots also, which I'm gonna show you now.
scalpers take them in their mouth, but they usually spit them out. Looks like she likes his pellets, but right now he is kind of apprehensive. Doesn't understand. Plus, I just turned on the light. It's dark right now. It, ha it had been dark before I turned on the light about five minutes ago. So he, m he might be not fully awake. Come on. Yeah, that's right. That's your, that's your pellets. That you relish so much. There it is. is about, uh, I want to say, six years old, five to six years old, no, actually more, yeah, we've had him before 2015, so he must be eight years old. The reason I think is the male is because it stays smaller. We had a female that uh, grew to two feet pretty quickly and then was killed in a 4500 gallon tank by, by the Peroon sharks. She was their first victim and I didn't even know this until about several years later when I figured out it was the Peroons. So sexy being eight years old and still under two feet, I think it's the uh, sexual difference. Plus our female was a, a bit plumber, more girth than that of sexes. I don't know if you can tell, but he's keeping one, one eye on me all the time. Not trusting me too much. After all these eight years, still no trust. strong swimmer they come from strong rivers like Congo River from Africa that's why it's so thin when you look at it head-on the body shape is very hydrodynamic and the tail is very strong
Yeah, he's not fully awake yet. He doesn't see the pellets, he just smells them. His eyes have not yet adjusted to the to the bright light that I turned on about probably now about ten minutes ago. He's mouthing at the at the bare bottom. Right now he's getting some pellets. This is our sexy update. Just to show us sex for Seattle's. A nasty parrot like fish from Africa and very hard, from our experience, very, very hard to house with other fish. If you can dedicate a tank just to this fish, you're gonna have all kinds of problems. Maybe not right away, maybe not with all tank mates, but you will. I mean, we're lucky that Sexy doesn't consider the Gulper catfish and the Pleco as competition worthy of an attack. Otherwise, he would have attacked them. However, when I placed it in the jerk tank, it couldn't cope with the jerks. But it was a long time ago, like five years ago, six years ago. Yeah, the jokes were killing him. Purple Labelle. Malawans. I forget who else wasn't here. Black Shark maybe. Some other Labelle. They were killing. This the Distichotos. So Distichotos is kind of like number three, both Lusoso and Sex Faciatum are number three or so in our most aggressive fish that we had ever kept list. Well, thank you for watching guys. It's a late night update on sexy and timeout. Hopefully it won't be too long before we get him an update. I mean an upgrade to a larger tank. So this is temporary. looking for his pellets.